Good morning everyone, welcome to the continuation of episode 47 from Wednesday night and the travel mugs and travel advice and things like that. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion about travel mugs <laughs> and what they're good for and how not to plan that trip. And joining me now for the continuation of episode 47 from Wednesday night. Good morning, the Kid H. Thanks, thanks for joining me in the studio today. Thank you, Barry Fierce. Say good morning out there who's watching. Good morning. Um, good to see you guys, and then we will continue our conversation about the traveling month uh, for your holidays and stuff like that. We'll continue today. So, the travel months, there they are over there. I'll just pause that so you. So what you see there, guys, is travel mugs. And they are great for when you travel to work and on public transport. Here's my offside of when his opening sequence. Yeah, if you can see here, that's uh, the traveling mug. And um, I want to take it out so you can have a look at it. Um, it's great for the uh, for for your car and for your long distance drive. You can see uh, you got a handle, um, and then you can put all your coffee or your tea or whatever you want to put inside. Or oh, hot chocolate. Or hot chocolate. Yeah. And it's a and it's a stainless steel travel mug, guys. Stainless steel. So so pick one up. When you go camping next, as we said well, on Wednesday night, don't carry ceramic mugs, please, because they will smash everywhere. Here's my offside. This one? Yeah. Compared to the other one? Yeah. The other one is better than this one. If you put this in the car, it will spill or. Like Barry said, you'll be smashing it up, and you know it's not good for your travel. And you can get coffee all over the seats, mm -hmm. all over the stair, all over the all over the, oh. the floor, everywhere. Here's my oxide. Yep, and make your car stink, and you, you spend most of your time trying to clean your car. Uh, rather than enjoy your holiday with that traveling mug. So, anyway. travel mugs, guys, so versatile. Buy a couple per even when you're staying home, guys, because they're so great. Here's my offline. Yeah, um, that's, that's one of the greatest ways to do your holidays, especially long distance drive. Um, Fill your cup, you know, you can enjoy your drink and then put down in the uh, drink holder. Um, it's good value for everyone. Yeah. Also today on the show, we're going to be talking about how not to plan that trip away. We'll get to that in a minute. First, how not to plan a trip. You just can't plan a trip when your family is unwell, you haven't got the money to pay for accommodation or anything, and you haven't got the essentials. Here's my offside. Yeah, um, especially right now, it's really hard to, to plan a family holidays um, because what happened now in the pandemic and the coronavirus. Um, you know, it's it's always good to sit down with the family and everything. And uh, what you think is, is the best way and the best time to do holidays because we don't know what's going to come tomorrow, what's going to happen. 
So don't just get in the car and go willy nilly. Here's my offside. Yeah, <clears throat> because you know, you, everybody understand now. Victoria's water is uh, closed. Queensland water is closed. And where are you going to go for your holiday? You know, especially going to Queensland. It's one of the best uh, destinations for holidays. Uh, all the all the sun and the warmness of Queensland. But yeah. I'm very sad. We're going to rethink again. We're going to... Now, it's important also not to plan a holiday if you or your family have health issues. How will you know where the nearest medical centre or hospital is? Think. Here's my offside. Yeah. Uh, especially uh, location like very say you know if your family in a um, health issue or um, need to be close to a hospital or medical center, uh, probably you have to think about the distance and location where you know where you be. And 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 before we move on to to water and carbs and essentials. Think about the usage of fuel in the car. Here's my option. All right. Um, that's another thing to worry about, you know. Think about your cars and, you know, the tire had to be a good tire, uh, service your car, fuel, all those stuff before you move on to the next step. Okay. If you, how not to travel in the car. Okay, you may think that the car is in good neck, but really it's not. But we will get to that in a minute. Have you got enough water and first aid supplies if you're out in the bush, especially when it's hot because Anyone can perish out in the bush or desert. Here's my offside. Yeah. Uh, that's all the thing that Barry is talking to you guys about. It's very necessary. It's very important that you, that you have all those and think about, you know, on your family first, the health issue, your vehicle, and every, every little thing that you need to do. Taking on your holiday, you have to take it. And make sure you, and don't just think that the car, that you and your family are, are in good nick because if something goes wrong before even the trip begins, that's it. You are done even before the holiday begins. Another problem with family trips, okay, is that you haven't got a spare car in case you break down. Have you got um, have you got spare tires and tools and someone to help you change the tire? Here's my offside. Yep. Um, like, yeah, that's all, all been good. Um, think about the, um, because it's, it's always good to have, you know, spare tire and car, like, you know, spare other car to, you know, to back up your, your holiday. So, I, and, and I have you, have you bought a bath? having a spare battery in case another one is the one in your car is dead flat have you got jump police to start the car yeah please that is not a good way because not being prepared to go out into the desert or bush guys 
and you haven't got anything or to fix the car with, you could be miles away from help. Here's my offside. Yeah. Um, yeah. Always good to have your insurance as well. Um, or Denar Man or um, Allianz or, you know, but very sad you might choose. You've got to prepare for yourself first. And, and how will you know how to use the jumper leaks? Mm -hmm. To turn the car over, the, the motor over. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's funny, but that's very he's, he's right. You need to know how to use it. You, know? you need to be like, understand that where you're going, where you put, and where are you going to start the car. And how will you know how to start a car that's in manual transmission? You may have to push the car you saw. Mm. Here's my upside. That is true. Well, you're going to put yourself in danger because if you don't know how to work on your car and then you're going to be able to work it out and turn it on, good luck, you're going to push yourself. And especially um, out in the, the desert or bush too. Here's my offside. Yeah, you'll be having a lot of lot of trouble. You need to do it. You need to fix it yourself. And 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 make sure you've got and don't just leave home without spare fuel or spare spark bar plugs, radiation hoses, fan belts, because that's not the way to to look after a car. Make sure and not having enough tools in the in your toolbox. And another thing, keeping fuel in an ice cream container, like we said the other night. Yeah. Do not leave it because somebody could tip over. Well, it could expand and go bang. That's right. Here's my oxide. That is true, you know. All the necessary stuff you need to take, take it. If it doesn't be, be, yeah. uh, another way not, um, not to pack. A car or trailer is don't just store everything willy nilly and not have them secure on the um, trailer or on the roof of your car, four wheel drive or car. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's what you gotta do, man. Um, you know what to work in your car, you need to, you need to know. Everything like very safe, you know. When you pull, when you pull your stuff in the car, don't just store it. Just make sure you know where you put your tools and. Because if the toolbox is open and you turn the corner, guys, Bang. all the tools will just come out everywhere. Here's my offside. That's a that's a great idea. Um, yep. Uh, close lock your tools and make sure that you have a sturdy and good toolbox. And, and what you must not do is store the petrol where the kids can get at it yeah. in the <clears throat> car. Here's my offsider. Dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, yeah. So, so, with petrol, guys, you've got to be really careful with it. Always have a, a jerry can and store it in the boot with your, your tools. And the same with the station wagon. What would you do, Kim, with your petrol? Yeah. So, would you put it in a jerry can? I'll put it 
in a cherry can. Put it in a cherry can, store it in a place that your kids not going to be rich or not going to be play with it. Because you need to, to know where you put your petrol and all your essentials like your band belt and if you haven't got all those essentials guys you've had it you could be stuck out in the middle of whoop whoop yeah. with no uh, no tools to fix the tires yeah. your radiators your fan belts because you need to have a full set of everything That's right. including your jacks to fix the tires because if you leave home without your tools and your jacks and you you go around on dirt roads okay yeah and the tire goes bang bang you can flip over yeah that's true here's my offside yeah it's um you know all of what various uh tell you guys you gotta listen and then follow the instruction what Barry say to you all. Um, and don't just assume that you know how to use the, the, the jumper leads without reading the instruction manual on what terminals to use to connect it to. And yeah. always make sure that there is enough water in the cells of your batteries. Here's my offside. Yeah, um, like Barry said, you know, you, just, you gotta know how to change the tire. You know, you need to know how to put the complete another part in your car, you know, because you don't want to end up blowing your car. Another car. You know. and, and never allow kids to to jump on the back seat because if there's an accident, they can go snap. That's right. Straight through the windscreen. Yep. Another thing you must never do is leave home without a map. That is not practical, guys. Please, don't just plan a holiday and assume that you've got your, your preps organized because have you thought about all of this? Have you thought about your family's health? Have you thought about who's going to look after your preps and how long you're going to be away for? Here's my offside. Yep. That's it. That's how you, you need to learn. We use everything from your car, family, um, traveling, holidays, you need to go. And, and don't assume that you've got enough food or water and make sure that you've got enough things to to top up you brake fluid, enough water to top up your radiator. And because if you haven't got enough water in your radiator, your car could overheat. Yeah. Here's my offside. That is true. You know, you got to look at diff different angles about what you do and where you got to um, traveling about your vehicle, everything. You got to look at it. And you've got to have. Not drive a car with a faulty fuel gauge. Because how much? How, how will you know how much fuel is, is in the car? And, and always have a look under the car if there's been a fuel leak. Because if there's fuel leaking everywhere, that's it, you've had it. Here's my offside. Yeah. That's what that's what um, that's what we need to do. 
we got to think about it, we got to think twice, think twice, everything will be okay. Because it's no good driving around in a car if you don't know how to take care of it. Don't just put it on the wrong fuel in it because your car, car will not start. And if you're out on holidays, okay, and you break down somewhere, and you run out of petrol, and then you think, oh, beep, yeah. I forgot the, the jerry can of, of petrol. It's back at home, so that's not being organized for a family trip. And... What about your clothes? Have you got clothes for winter, clothes for summer, a big enough bag to put everything in? Here's my office writer. Yep, that's what you gotta do. You gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared, you gotta so, be ready. So, so don't just uh, pack too few clothes, guys. If it's going to be hot, you need to, to pack the necessary things like your sun cream. Yeah, that's a good one. So please, don't just be an idiot and go on a holiday and let things go wrong. Here's my answer. Yeah, that's, that's everything very sad, it's all good, it's all right. And, and, make, and don't just carry a mobile phone with a flat battery, please charge it up. Yeah. Because if you need to make a phone call, okay, please charge your phone. Here's my option. Yeah, you got to charge it, you got to be ready, make sure... You have credit in there to make a phone call. You gotta prepare for emergency. You gotta know the number of emergency. All those stuff in your book. And 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 make, and make sure that you find a reception wherever you go. Yeah. Don't assume you know the way to go without a compass or how long it's gonna take you. To get to and from your destination. And some people they just get in their car and then they realize that they haven't got everything like their tools in that. That's not being prepared. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's that's what all things that you need to be prepared to be to be ready for it. On your uh, before you go on the holidays. Well, I hope this video video has taught you the do's and don'ts of planning a holiday and not and how to look after your car and not how to look after your car to. Close this episode today. I would just like to say, please be prepared for your holiday. Yep. Know where you're going. Have a map. Discuss with the family where you're going to go. Have a team meeting each day. And work out where you're going to stay for the night because... Guys, it is really dangerous to do the trip in one hit. And be careful of your fuel. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right. You've got to be careful. Make sure it's all, all it, um, your fuel is stored. Get ready to go. And spare tire need to be fixed and ready to go. Anything you need to be taken, don't take well, the rubbish, just take the necessary stuff. And, and if you are camping, guys, don't leave your letter around in the camping ground. Yeah. 
taken with you, people thought more about the other campers than wanting to use the campsite. Here's my offside. All the, the necessary stuff to do. So I'll just start that again. Uh, please don't be a tosser. Take your little with you. Don't be an idiot if you go away and pour water on the embers to put the fire out. And one thing, then don't go in. Don't go into an area where you might get bombed because how are you going to get out? Here's my offside. Yeah, that's all what you need to do. Please. Be thoughtful and then be organized somewhere. Don't just drive somewhere by yourself because you could have an accident in the middle of the night and you go bang, bang. So be prepared, guys. Think before you plan the holiday about your family's health. You, and your health, and, if, and have you got the money to pay for everything? Here's my offline. Yeah, that's it. You have the money to pay for everything on your holiday? Go away. But if you're not, you're going to save up. Because you have to know that. that Safety in the bush and in the desert. It comes first because if you, if you're in a car like a holding station wagon, guys, that's not fit for traveling and something goes wrong, like the tires, bang, bang. they could, and you run out of petrol and and you don't know where to go, Michael. That that is a problem. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's why you need to be prepared for everything and prepare for the worst. What's going to happen? And don't, and don't assume that your car's going to start when it won't, because you may have a faulty battery or an alternator or a starter motor. Yeah. It's my offside. Yeah, man. That's what you need to be prepared for. Welcome back. We're into the closing segment now. Yeah. I'm just going over those things. Okay. And we've nearly forgot the first day kit. Don't take a first day kit with no first day supplies. Don't don't take a kit and not have enough supplies to get you through. Because an ambulance could be miles away from anywhere. Here's my offer. Yep. Listen to what Barry said to you guys when you're trying to go on holidays. That's what you need to be prepared for. You take your first aid kit, you know, so it's good to be prepared. You know, like you Barry said, might be the ambulance will be like miles and miles away from you. Who, who knows? And how will you know where to take your child to the nearest medical center? Or hospital, yeah, and you don't know where it is. So please, don't just go on a holiday not knowing what can go wrong, because a family member can become sick mm. even on the first day, and you may have to go home. Is my offside? Yeah. That's it, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know. 
Like very same. You don't know how far the hospital, you know, you don't know when next was this uh, medical center and, you know, you don't really know. Or the nearest fuel stop. Yeah. Or, or where to get water for the writing items. So please, don't come go unprepared on a trip. And consider, and don't just go drive into an area that may be quite due to bush fires. Yeah. Please don't do that. Well, I hope this video has been a, an educational one for you. And to close the program today, the travel mags. Again, if I can just get my upside on once more to show you the travel marks. And there, there, there it is there. Make sure that you have enough of those in your car and some napkins and baby wipes. Yep. Coming up on episode 48, on Wednesday, we'll be talking about another food idea for you, and it's to do with oats. But until Wednesday, then we hope that you will join us yeah. for another edition. But that is episode 47 and part two of the, the, of the travel mug and travel advice and, and we hope it's been educational for you. Here's my outsider for his closing message on this. Yeah, thank you guys and hopefully this message that will come across to you guys will be help you on your holidays. Um, We'll bring some tip for you, you know. Um, if you need help or if you need any question, drop your comment down and Barry will fix you up. He will, he will tell you more about on the road. So, ha safe traveling, everybody. Have a good holiday and remember, have enough water for everybody and enough of everything, including your sleeping bags. Your tents, your blankets, cordial, perishable food, bread, blah, blah. Here's my outside. Yeah, that's why you need to be careful and get ready for it. And that's where we end episode 47 today and the second part. And one thing, compromise and agree on where you're going to go and stick with it. Here's my outsider for his closing message. Yep. Thank you guys for listening to us and watching our show um, from Barry Fee. Um, and hopefully this message is come clear to you all about going on holidays. And compromise, guys. Yep. Have a team meeting about what will work and what won't work. Have a team meeting when you return home as well. Okay. And if you're hiring a car, guys, make sure that you have enough money to pay for it. And that's where we'd like to say good morning to you now. At 10 minutes to midday. Okay, thanks for joining us today. And we will talk to you next time. Here's my upside of what he gives. Farewell now. Thank you guys, and we will talk to you guys on Wednesday. Have a safe weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. And remember, if you do feel tired on the way, to your destination, please take a 15 minute nap because a 15 minute nap could 
save your life. And here's my opportunity to take us out with that message. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, you get tired, you remember, there's a right on the side of the road when you're on the way in a long distance drive, you say, stop, revive. And survive. And survive. That's it. This program has been, been brought to you today by Barry Fair and Kit, and episode 47 has ended at 8 minutes to 12 o'clock. Thanks for your company today on the show, and we look forward to your company on Wednesday with the usual stuff. Um, we hope that this video is a, a, a helpful one for you and, and we look forward to your company next time. Yep. But until then, bye bye from Kevin and I. It's seven minutes to midday. Yep. Have a great day everyone. It's Saturday, the 15th of August. Good morning everybody.